What's up guys, it's Odin. I wanted to do a video today, kind of spur of the moment. You know, I saw this Reddit post by Pokemon A talking about um, maps with 3 plus spawns. Should like show you where the opponent spawned in, you know, to destroy this sort of RNG luck factor in the game, you know. And before I get into that, I just think this is crazy that's blown up. You know, I'm crazy to think that this is even like a thing you know like why why do we have to change the game so much why can't we just learn to adapt and play through it you know what i mean i don't know what's happened with starcraft but it really reminds me of like league of legends just every week you go on that subreddit and you just see like riot change this riot please fix this and they actually listen and some of these changes aren't always the best you know i don't think i don't think you should balance the game around your experiences on ladder you know like your even just the whole idea of ladder, you know, versing someone one time, like in StarCraft, it just takes so much of the, not like the greatness out of the game, but compare it to like Kespa and like the pro teams playing at the high level, you know. We watched Showtime study Beyond, encounter him with this great uh, Colossus build, encounter his early Marines, you know, that that's beautiful StarCraft, that's figuring out your opponent, that's playing the tendencies and what, and just trying to trying to think that what you play on ladder is like that it's just not the truth you know like you can you'll have way more fun playing someone in like a fun little best of three best of five because you're gonna play multiple maps you're gonna learn their tendencies you know but just to try to balance the game around these one-off random ladder matches that people i don't even care anyone on the ladder that's not like really a pro player it just shouldn't the game should not be balanced around us you know what i mean we should should have fun regardless we should let the people who dedicate the time and the skill in the game to get rewarded for it. There's no reason that if you're a month into the game that you should be better than someone who's six months to a year in, you know? Like, that's just, it just blows my mind. Anyway, so I wanted to go through, kind of read out his posts and uh, talk about it and get some of my thoughts on it. Man, <laughs> are you getting fucking hyped up? So the first point we get into is going to be build order decisions, okay? So he says... Early in every game, you're for, I'll kind of paraphrase it. Um, please, I'm going to link the post. I really want you to read it. I don't want to take stuff out of context and make him sound bad. You know, I respect Pokebunny. I like the, the post, you know. This is good stuff. This is what we need to talk about. <sighs> so anyways, build order decisions in the early game. So basically, the whole argument is that if you scout if you send your first worker first and you scout on a four player map okay so say you spawn the bottom left you send your worker to the top left and your opponent spawn in the bottom right okay so you're gonna go all the way around the map before you spawn him and if he just scouts bottom left and he scouts late he's gonna scout you before you did even though you sent the worker out first you know and what he's saying is that this is this is luck this is rmg you're getting punished you know to me I don't see it that way I'm gonna scout in the direction that I think has the most threat so I'm gonna go in that direction and as soon as I realize there's a base not there good okay I can build my natural I can build my third up there I don't have to worry about that and even when you get to the other base now you know the guys down there you don't know his buildings and stuff but hey now you send your SCV out to the third you know I'm usually gonna have a Reaper out by that time to scout and see what's up god like there's this just seems like such a minor detail that doesn't I don't know I'm trying to formulate it <laughs> let me let me read some of this so I can get some inspiration from Pokebunny you gotta help me out <laughs> so okay here's here's a key key sentence I want to point out so forces uh, whatever while there is something to said for forcing players to consider multiple spawn possibilities, the asymmetry between races and heavily differing spawn possibilities on a map like Frost, where cross spawn is super macro heavy and close spawns play extremely differently, close parentheses, forces some races slash players to change their styles significantly to account for this while others do not at all. Why is that a bad thing? Why is... So if someone plays a really macro based style and that's the kind of game they want to play and they finally get that cross spawn and you you scout bottom left scout bottom right don't get to him he has a cc up first why is why is that a bad thing you know this is a the whole thing is that on ladder i think people just want as many reasons as they should win that one single game you know when i look at starcraft 
yeah, you know, I'll lose a game on ladder, but it's like, hey, would I really wish I could play you in a best of three because I bet you do the same strategy every game, and I would I would figure it out, you know. So this <sighs> the luckness. Ah, oh, I just man. I mean, I maybe I shouldn't have made the video so quick, but I just I really want to talk about it. So basically, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think even putting races and players in the same like slash is kind of weird because I feel like any any race couldn't can do anything and any player can do anything like I really wish like would you w would you ask flash what he thought about this and tell him like oh yeah you know it's total bullshit I lost so many games um, I never felt like I could win a game just because they didn't it didn't work out with the SCV in the beginning you know like he totally didn't watch that players demo see how he scouted when he spawned at that place you know maybe like building barracks is in the middle of the the map and then scouting every like it, ugh, god I just this shit blows my mind dude where's the passion <clears throat> cuz you know when I think of like StarCraft when I think of Brood War you know I just think of a hardcore punishing game you know like how do you how else do you get a chance on Flash other than him sending his SCV to the wrong time and you get all this time to get your builder off without scouting and you know he probably even knows what you're doing and he builds the bunker anyways. Like some of the sickest games you watch is when he takes that early natural. <clears throat> the opponent doesn't take their natural and they rush him and he gets the seed chain out perfectly and he does that flash hold that we all know. So I don't know. I just think StarCraft has so many variables. And I don't I just don't see I just really don't see the positives in this. I feel like this is just a crutch. I feel like it would just artificially enhance your skill at the game you know starcraft 2 is already so streamlined like um so he says it, it brings it in the complete blind luck and starcraft has always been a game of incomplete information you know um oh god okay so this is what i mean there's no skill game sense practice or talent that will allow you to get a luckier scouting your opponent on a floor four player map i i have to disagree with that you know i've seen I was thinking of like a, God, I can't even think of the map right now, but it'd be like a four player map from Heart of the Swarm, and like say, the Zerg, the Zerg spawns in the bottom right, and it's like a Terran or a Protoss in the bottom left, and like, what they would do is you'd see, you'd see pro players send their worker out to like check to where the Overlord would be if the Zerg spawned out there, so he'd check that little path, see if the Overlord's coming for him, and then dodge around back up, and you know, it brings in a sick mind game if the Zerg player sees that coming, he pulls the Overlord back because he really is in the bottom right, and now the probe just took like the whole map to scout around. You know, there's all these really cool little mag micro factors that I think need to be appreciated. And the whole there's no game sense, there's no amount of talent. How many how many star sense moments has somebody just felt a warp prism coming, or a bunch of like Flash would just do this shit all the time, or like Jadon with the mutas, like oh I just I just feel this coming. You know, I've played so many games. He hasn't done this. Where's the fog of war? Where is he gonna be? And they're gonna they're gonna pull it off. You know they have this intuition, and that's just with scouting in general. I'm not even talking about the early game. I'm just talking about the game in general. So specifically, I really want to think about how this would change stuff. Other than, I really wonder what what is the point of this. You know, so we do get let let's say we get the spawns and they come in. And you spawn on Frost, so so great. Now, isn't that like a great part of two-player maps? Because now I always know the opponents there. People still don't scout. People still proxy all day. Like, what is this? All it's gonna do is take a little, like one of the last piece, like Brood War fun parts we have in StarCraft 2, and we're gonna lose it. Like, and why is this even? Uh, I guess the biggest concern for me is why is this like casual? like fun mode coming into starcraft you know where's the the hardcore where's the passion where's where's the just break your heart over every game until you get better you know like that's why that's why this game's so good you know we don't need these we don't need the balance of the game anymore you know i think you know just let blizzard do their thing let them just figure out a game and then let us master it like i just i don't know so i guess those are my thoughts on it i know it's super scrambled you know i just felt I, don't know, I just thought like it'd be a really fun video to do, and I couldn't help myself. So, thank you, Pokemon A, for the post, and uh, thanks for getting shut down. <laughs> Later, guys.